Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Melissa and today we're gonna to be doing our feel good flow from head to toe. Really focusing on our core and remember our breath is so important in firing up that core. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, thumbs up and leave comments down below. Go grab your mats and let's do this. All right, so we're gonna get started coming in tabletop position today really connect with your breath for your core. So that inhale diaphragm goes down. And as we're exhaling, we're gonna feel it in those lower abdominal muscles. And we wanna make sure our pelvis is in that neutral position, not too tucked underneath, not too arched. So here we go. Coming into that tabletop position and just noticing what you're feeling in your body first. So maybe a little round out through the middle of your back, tuck the tailbone, lift the head, sink the chest, just gently moving in and out. If you wanna kinda of go to side to side, you can do that as well. Just keep using the breath, gentle moving. Okay, and then round it out again. Come back through, sink the chest, lift that head one more time, round everything out. And lift that head back up. So we're gonna pull ourselves, come forward onto those knees. Keep pressing into your palms and you're going to slowly inhale, push yourself back to that tabletop. Exhale, pull yourself forward, breathe lower abdominals. Inhale, push it back. Exhale, pull yourself, come forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, pull yourself, come forward. Really working that lower core. If this is feeling really good and you wanna pop up onto those toes, you're going to exhale, push yourself forward. Inhale, come back. Either option, just really listen to what feels comfortable for you today. We're gonna to do three two, last one, good, sink it back, come into that child's pose. So head gets nice and heavy. Maybe shift the hips from side to side. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. Take that left leg, you're gonna shoot your left leg straight back. Press out through the back heel, keep pressing into those palms. So you're squeezing that left glute. Take your right arm, spin your right arm all the way up. Trying to rotate from the chest, but keep those hips facing the ground. Right hand comes down, left arm and leg are gonna float, lift up. That left arm reaches overhead, stretch through those fingertips, nice breath in. Exhale, we're gonna come right back. Tabletop, left arm comes down. Spin your right arm back open. One more time through that right arm comes down. Press the hips, lift up. So you can hold right here. Maybe you're just looking down at that right hand. Or on your exhale, we're gonna lift the arm and the leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. That exhale, lower abdominals. You're reaching through the left leg so you feel it in that hip. Good, for three, two, last one. Lower all the way back down. Drive into the top of that right foot. Bring your knee in towards your chest, round out. Exhale, kick the leg back. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, push back. One more time, drive that knee in towards your chest. Step that foot forward between your hands and you're just gonna bring both hands to the inside of that hip. Gently let the leg go out towards the side. And lowering down onto that hip. So maybe that leg is falling out to the outside. Maybe you can scoot down onto your elbows or maybe not. Maybe you're just kind of wiggling from side to side, using the breath just to keep opening up those hips. Okay, and slowly walk yourself back up. Pull that left knee back up. We're gonna take the right hand down towards the ground. 
spin your chest open and take that left leg, scooch your left leg back. So really using that core, we're gonna inhale, reach, pull yourself, lift up. Exhale, bend over towards the side. Inhale, lift, pull up. Slowly take your right hand down towards the ground. Inhale, reach, fingertips to heel. Use that breath, pull, reach, come all the way up. And then back down, seeing how slow and controlled you can go from side to side. Inhale, lift, reach, come back up. One more time, bring yourself down. And last one, back up. Good, all the way back down. Take that left arm, reach your left arm overhead, spin all the way back down. Keep reaching through that back heel, fire up through that glute. Maybe you take your right arm, reach your right arm out in front. Nice, gentle breath in. Hips are even, you're not sinking into the left arm, but you're pushing, creating that length. For three, two, last one, awesome. Bring everything all the way down. So you can come onto your knees or on your toes. We're gonna slowly lower everything all the way down. Pull yourself forward, gentle squeeze of those glutes. Lift yourself, come up and back. Open up through the front of your chest. You can press back, come into child's pose, or maybe you lift those hips up and back down, dog. So that head gets nice and heavy. Press those heels down towards the ground. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Good, take another nice breath in. Exhale, let it go, pull ourselves, come forward, come back into that tabletop position. So this time we're gonna take the right leg, float your right leg back. Drive the top of your left foot in towards the ground. Take your right arm, spin your right arm open towards the sky. Remember those hips are facing the ground. Left arm comes down, we're spinning, lift the hips up and open, come into your side plank. Really press those hips, lift them up. Slowly bring it back down. Keep reaching through the back heel as you rotate, spin your chest up to the other side. Bring it back down. Inhale, lift, come up, reach through those fingertips. We're gonna exhale, lift, and then lower back down. Reaching fingertips, through your heel, lengthening everything out, not sinking into the left shoulder for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it back down. Drive your knee in towards your chest, round everything out. Exhale, press back through the heels, hips face the ground. Inhale, bring that knee in towards your chest. Exhale, press it back. One more time, drive that knee in, and then you're gonna step that foot forward between your hands. Bring your hands to the inside of that front leg. Getting nice and heavy, maybe the right knee falls out towards the side. Maybe you can drop down onto those elbows. Maybe you're kind of shifting from side to side. Compare this side to your other side. Notice what parts of your hips are a little tighter. Just use that breath, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Gentle rocking from side to side. Good. Slowly bring that leg, come all the way back up. Left hand comes to the inside, peel your chest, lift it open. Take your right leg, scoot your right leg back. Reach those arms all the way up overhead. Keep pressing into the left arm. So here's where we're gonna pick ourselves up. So reach the right arm all the way up. Use the core, that exhale, lower abdominals as you reach up. Bend over towards the right hand side. Inhale, lift, come back up. Left hand down, right arm reaches up overhead. Stretch through those fingertips, nice breath in. And then press, lift, come all the way up. Reach over towards the side. Inhale, lift, come back up. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches up overhead, reach through that back heel, nice breath in. Last one, slowly come all the way up. Exhale, keep using the breath. And then back down, so really feeling obliques kicking on. Lower abdominals, reach through the back heel. 
spin it back down, tabletop, press into the palms, right heel reaches back, hips face the ground. If you want, take your left arm, reach the left arm in front, keep reaching through the back heel, press into that right palm, nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Nice breath in for three, two, Last one, come into plank on your knees, maybe plank on those toes. We'll keep those elbows really close as we lower all the way down. Inhale, lift up and back. You can come into that child's pose or down dog. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, letting it go. We're gonna slowly walk those feet coming forward towards your hands. Press into your feet, lift, come all the way up. Bring those hands down towards heart center. So press into the feet, nice and soft with that rib cage. Making sure the rib cage stays over your pelvis. Legs and thighs are nice and relaxed. We're still using the breath. Inhale, breathing 360 degrees, keeping it out of our chest. We're gonna shift our weight to the left leg. Little toe tap or maybe you lift the right leg up. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips just a little so you can reach back through the heel. You can always have a toe tap down here. Keep pressing into the left hip, lengthen up, and we're just gonna to start to do little pulses, firing up that glute. Careful not to overextend and overarch that low back. Soften through your rib cage, little pulses. Good, for five. Four, three, two, one. Bend through the front knee, super slow. Step it back, left hip back, right hip forward. Press both feet into the ground. Inhale, sweep those arms, lift up. Exhale, open into your cactus arms. Maybe a gentle gaze up towards the sky. Inhale, float those arms, come all the way back up overhead. We're gonna straighten out through the left leg, spin your right heel down, getting ready to come into triangle pose. So keep pulling the right rib cage back, exhale that left arm down, right arm comes up, maybe you turn your gaze down towards the floor, up at the sky, wherever feels most comfortable. And then keep pressing into the feet as you reach that right arm, come all the way back up overhead, bend through your front knee. Push the front knee out towards the pinky toe. We're gonna bring those hands behind the back of our head. You're gonna take your elbows, open your elbows up behind you so it's a gentle squeeze. And then we're gonna gently round out, pull your chin in towards your chest. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift it open. Good, one more time around everything out. Keep pressing into those feet, lift, come all the way up. Stretch out through those fingertips. Take your right arm down, left arm reaches up and back. Straighten through your left leg, turn your left leg to face the side. Bend your right knee as you take your right hands down towards the thigh, sink to open up that hip. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Then slowly press into that right leg, come all the way back up. Take your left foot, spin your left foot to face forward again. Bend into the knee, come into that extended side angle. So you're not resting on the arm, but you're reaching that right arm all the way up overhead, peeling the rib cage up, using your breath, kicking on the core to help hold yourself up. Good, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Then inhale, pull yourself, come back up. Spin up onto those back toes. Left leg does all the work, take off, reach, lifting up, coming into airplane. So those hips stay facing the ground. We're gonna slowly rotate, peel the hips, lift up, and you can always hold on to something if you need to, and then slowly drop the hips back down. Rotate, peel, lift your hips up. Exhale, drop them down. Being very careful not to grip your left toes. Peel and lift up, drop it back down. Awesome, for three, two, last one. Drop those hips back down. 
Come all the way up, right foot down, shake it out on your left. Good, keep pressing into those feet. Take the arms, lift all the way up overhead, reach up through those fingertips. You're gonna come up onto your toes. Inhale, slowly lower down. We're gonna keep sending those hips back. Careful not to tuck the hips underneath or arch too much. The hips go back, 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 back. Hands come to heart center or out in front. Exhale, press into your feet, lift, come up all the way onto the toes, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Sink the hips back, 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 back. Press into the feet, lift, come up. Arms all the way up overhead. Try not to roll to the outside of your feet. Sink those hips back, soften your chest, press it back. Exhale, press into those feet, lift, come all the way up overhead. Good, bring those hands back down towards heart center, sink the hips back. Good, inhale, lift, come back up. And here we go on the other side. So shift your weight to that right leg. Gentle squeeze of your glute. We're gonna toe tap it or lift that left leg up. As we slowly hinge forward, the leg goes back or down on the ground. We're gonna start to fire up the left glute, so small little pulses. Careful to not feel it in the low back. So you wanna make sure you're soft with the rib cage and really firing up the left glute. Playing with pointing your toe or pressing from your heel. Make sure the hips are facing the ground. It's all about feeling it in the right places when you're moving. And it all starts with using our breath. Good, five, four, three, two. Last one, now bend through your front knee, step it back, come into your crescent lunge. That right hip comes back, left hip forward, sweep those arms, lift all the way up. Exhale, open into your cactus arms, nice breath in. Inhale, lift those arms, come back up overhead. Keep pressing through that back heel. Soften the front toes as we straighten the right leg. Spin the back heel down. Left rib cage comes back, lower down into that triangle pose. Keep pressing into your feet, and it doesn't matter how far you're going, but that you're working on lengthening up and using the core. Good, pull yourself, come all the way up. Turn your right foot to face the side. Bend that left knee, hands come to your thigh. Maybe they come down towards the ground. We're working on stretching out that right inner thigh. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, press into the left leg, come all the way back up. Turn your right foot to turn to face the front. Bend that knee. Press your knee out towards your pinky toe. Nice, gentle breath in as you come into that extended side angle. So the forearm down to your thigh. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Nice breath in. Keep pressing into that arm. Soften your toes. Use your breath as you inhale, lift, come back up. Reverse your warrior. One more time, pull yourself, come up. Use the extended side angle. Spin up onto your back toes. We're gonna take off over our right leg. So slowly shift the weight forward. Lifting, coming up. Keep reaching through your back heel, holding here. Maybe you grab hold of something. We're gonna work on slowly rotating that left hip up towards the sky and then slowly drop that hip back down. Rotate, lift the hip up. Exhale, drop that hip back down. Good, for three, two, last one. Bring yourself, come all the way back up. Shake it out on that right side. Press into your feet, lift those arms, come all the way up overhead. Exhale, you're gonna sink down into chair pose. So the hips go back, careful not to have a too much of an arch or a tuck. Good, press your palms together. As you press the palms together, it's gonna fire up the arms. We're gonna exhale, turn to the right hand side, pull your right shoulder blade back, nice breath in. Good, 
Inhale, bring it back through to center. Try to pull your mat apart. As you do that, you'll feel the outer hips kick on. Exhale, twist, left hand side. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go, pull it back through to heart center. One more time. Twist, right hand side, feel those hips kicking on. Back through to center. Exhale, rotate, left hand side. Inhale, back to center, hands come down towards the ground. We're gonna step back, coming into plank. Press into the palms, lengthen through that crown of your head. Maybe you're on your knees, we're gonna lower all the way down. Inhale, pull, lift, come up and back. And then press it back. We're gonna come onto our backs. Good, your head gets super heavy. Nice, gentle breath in. Let's start with our arms up overhead. We wanna be careful that we're not really like tucking the hips underneath, but you wanna take that lower abdominals the exhale, feel lower abdominal kick on. So our core isn't pushing out into this dome. So gentle lifting up and in, not bracing, arms are up overhead. You're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring them back to center. Inhale, lift up overhead. Exhale, back to center. This feels really good. As you bring the arms in, you can bring one knee in toward your chest, tap it back down. Exhale, knee to chest, tap it back down. Maybe you stay up on your toes, exhale, alternating from side to side. Maybe you bring both knees in and you lower one down. That knee that's staying lifted, you're just driving it in toward your chest a little more. Good. Wherever you're at for five, four, three, two, reach through those fingers. Last one. Place those feet back down on the ground. Walk your heels in toward your sit bones. Keeping that slight little tilt. So neutral pelvis, we're gonna press the hips up. Lift those hips up towards the sky. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Seeing if you've got equal weight in both feet. Keep pressing those hips up towards the sky. Nice breath in. Exhale, we're gonna slowly lower halfway down and then press the hips, squeeze and lift. Drop the hips, press, squeeze those glutes, lift. Neck and shoulders stay soft. Your exhale, you're connecting with that lower abdominal. Keep pressing up and down. Soft through those toes. Awesome work for five, four, three, two, last one, super slow, lower all the way back down, heading back in for that core. So the knees are gonna come in towards the chest this time. We're gonna bring the legs over towards the right hand side. You can start option one, little toe taps, exhaling, tapping those legs. Option two is to kind of come into a little bit of a bicycle, reaching those legs out towards the right hand side. Neck and shoulders stay nice and soft. You're making sure that stomach isn't pushing or kind of doming out. Using that exhale, you'll feel it in the lower abdominals. Keep reaching those legs out, awesome. Using that breath for five, four, Three, two, last one. Bring everything back up through to center. Holding the legs here, maybe taking the hands behind the back of your head. You can inhale, curl, lift everything up. Exhale, tap back down. Inhale, curl, lift up. If it feels too much on your neck, you can always just move those legs. Good, we've got five, four, Three, two, last one. Lower all the way down. Walk those heels back in towards your sit bones. We're pressing those hips, lifting them up again. 
Keep pressing the hips into the ground, pressing your feet into the ground. Imagine that there is this band around the outside of your knees, and I just want you to think of doing small little pulses going out to the side. It's gonna kind of kick on the outer hips. Keep pressing into those. Good for this for five, four, three, two, one. Halfway lower, press and lift those hips. Drop it down, press and lift. Keep equal weight into those heels. I'm just firing up those glutes for five, four, three, two, last one. Lower all the way back down. Bring those knees in towards the chest. Legs go over towards that left hand side. Option one, those little toe taps. Option two, if you wanna extend the legs out, but we're kicking on lower core using your breath. Lengthening out. Soften the neck and shoulders. Awesome work. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Bring those knees back to center. Arms can stay by your side or you can always bring them behind your head. Home stretch here, inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap and lower. Inhale, lift and back down. Good, working on that breath for five, four, Three, two, last one, lower all the way down. Lengthen out through those fingertips, stretch through your toes, take a nice big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Get super heavy on that mat. Maybe kind of rocking those legs in or out. Your hands will come back down by your side. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Arms are gonna come out. We're gonna rock over towards that right hand side. Take your right hand on top of the thighs, gentle press down towards the ground. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. I'm just checking hips, mid back, low back. Where are you feeling it? Notice how your body's feeling after we've moved through practice and really using that breath. Inhale, bring those knees back up. Head over towards the left hand side. Right arm goes out towards the side. Nice breath in. Exhale, letting it go. And bring everything back up through center. Place those feet back down on the ground. You're gonna move your feet so they're about mat distance apart. We're gonna drop the right knee down, really press the right knee, feel a nice stretch in the front of that right hip. Left arm goes up overhead, turn your gaze to that right hand side. Press the knee down, turn the head to the right. And then inhale, bring it back to center. We're gonna take that left knee, just push the left knee down towards the ground. Take that right arm up overhead, reach through those fingertips, nice breath in, gentle turn, left hand side. Nice breath in, exhale, letting it go. Inhale, come back up. Bring those arms back down by your side. We're just gonna gently roll onto our sides. Carefully come all the way up, comfortable seated position. And we're gonna take one last deep cleansing breath in. So lift those arms, come all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. And just thanking your body for all of its awesome work during our Feel Good Flow class. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.